Okay, another letter rearrangement question. This time we're using the word charlatown. So, how many unique words can you create by rearranging the letters in the word charlatown? And it's what you will notice immediately. There's some repeated letters here. So the first letter that I noticed is duplicated, of course, is the O. So there's an O there. There's an O later in the word charlatown. And the other letter that, of course, is repeated is the T. So we have one T, two Ts, and three Ts. So when you're working with these types of questions, just take a minute to make sure you didn't miss any duplication. It's usually easiest just to start with the first letter and check for other Cs, other Hs, other As, Rs, Ls. We dealt with the Os and the Ts. There's no other Es, there's no other Ws, and there's no other Ns to be 100% correct. Make sure you don't miss something. So uh, we start off with these uh, counting questions uh, using our fundamental counting principle, which means add up the letters in the word charlatown and get that arrangement first using all those letters. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So if we ignore the duplication, we'd have 13 factorial uh, arrangements of these letters. Of course, we can't ignore uh, the duplication because we want unique words or unique arrangements. So we have to divide by 2 factorial. Of course, that corresponds to the two O's. It's going to look like a 0. Let's say O's by 2. And we're also going to divide by uh, 3 factorial which of course corresponds to the uh, three T's. And remember again, if we were to look at one configuration of those letters, there's six ways or three factorial ways we could cycle those T's through and get duplicate words. And for every one of those, there's two ways we could cycle those uh, O's through as well. So we obviously are not going to do that. That would be quite time consuming. And actually our generator we've been using can't do 13 factorial unless we pay some money which of course we're not going to so we're going to turn to our calculator and notice I added brackets there to make sure a common student mistake is to fail to use brackets and get the wrong answer here so let's not do that we'll go 13 factorial and remember that's hidden usually above a button somewhere but on the Texas Instruments it's hidden in the probability menu and then I'm going to divide this by, I guess it's 6 times 2. We could just go 12. It would be far easier than typing this in. But just to show you what I mean by brackets, of course, I wanted, and you can just set these uh, numbers side by side. Your calculator will be smart enough to say that's 2 times, times 6. For other questions, you might actually not be able to just do it in your head like this one. So 13 factorial divided by both 2 and 3 factorial, and that is a rather large number. And I think I might be able to drag that into here. I better not do that because I think that's going to erase my work. Okay, so let's write that down without erasing everything there. Technical problems, as always. So the number on our calculator was 5, 1, yeah, 518. 518, 918, four hundred. And since that took so long, let's obviously double check that again to make sure I didn't copy that down wrong. That looks like 518,918,400. Okay, and those are unique arrangements. And we'll keep calling them words, either or. And feel free to copy those down if you're curious.